this edition of House of Style, we travel to Milan, Italy for the Spring 93 collections. We'll go behind the scenes with fashion designers Dolce & Gabbana and spend the week with Naomi Campbell both on and off the runway. Back in the States, we'll show you Stephen Sprouse's new collection, give you some pointers on the new eyebrow craze, and what should Bill and Hillary wear to the inaugural ball? Well, we've got some of our own ideas. Hi, and welcome to our special Milan edition of House of Style. So it's only fitting that we're coming to you from Little Italy in New York City. Milan is the fashion capital of Italy, and every October and again in March, the Italian designers send their newest creations down the runway. One of our favorites is Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce, the bald one, is from the south, and he's the son of a tailor. Gabbana is from the north, and he used to be an art director. The two have been designing together for over 10 years, and this is one time that when North and South get together, well, there's nothing middle of the road about it. If you've watched our show before, you've seen the behind the scenes of a fashion show, but there's something that even happens before behind the scenes, and that's a fitting. And that's when the model comes, me in this case, and the designer sort of has a, a rack of clothes, normally with your name on it, and you try it on just to make sure everything fits. Dolce, goodbye. These are the geniuses. This is the, the opening of the show. Everyone is in the suit, masculine, erotic, it's a, it's a sexy, thing. but in a, in a totally not obvious way. It's my first look, and I'm number 11, which means I'm not opening the show. Last time I got to open the show. This is number 68, so this is number 36. This is number 97. Easy access. What's with the headbands? Ipishik. But it's great because it's very inexpensive accessory. This is just a piece of satin ribbon yeah. yes. tied around Change. it. You can Change get every complete. different color. Yeah. You can cut. <laughs> Spring 93, what was your inspiration? This inspiration is Ippi in the world. Ippi, my very chic. What's your favorite part of a woman's body? The breast. They're friends of mine. She's a friend. My name is Dita. They asked me to come to their show, and of course, I said yes. Your collection for Fall 92 for Complici was inspired by the circus, yes? yes? yes. And you said that the circus is like your life. Yes, but for the circus, it's, uh, it's the life. Uh, happy? Happy, non happy. It's a, a pericolous, dangerous. dangerous. It's romantic, it's the life. Today show is a British theme, and um, I'm one of the Beatles. I'm going to be John Lennon. How humiliating, and I get to go out with a guitar. <laughs> and Gabbana are responsible for two shows during Milan Fashion Week, there are many more. There are over 50 shows in a period of five days. This adds up to a lot of work, especially for the models. And if you're Naomi Campbell, you'll barely have time to go shopping. This is my fourth show today. I like doing fashion shows because everything's totally spontaneous. Your heel could break, your bra could fall off. I didn't go to bed till 3 o'clock last night and I'm just dead. <laughs> what you've got to know is that don't be trying to show yourself over the clothes. You could have put that brush in my eyeball. <laughs> now for hair. We a friend of mine and goes back a long way since I was 16. He was one of the first British designers to ever use me. And I wasn't, no, I was nobody. So you want to know what the collection is in Milan? It's all hippie. They have so many girls to do that they can't fit us all in anyway. So I do my own base because I know my own skin tone. And then I go to them and they do whatever they have to do. <laughs> I'm really being sad. Yeah. 
We'll also spend a typically rainy afternoon in Milan with fashion photographer Mario Testino and we'll give Bill and Hillary some tips on what to wear to the inaugural ball. of Style, coming to you from Little Italy in New York City. We just can't get enough of Naomi Campbell, and this time she invited us to hang out with her and some of her friends for some girl talk. You're going to see everything tonight. I have Kristen, but man and me, and Linda Evangelista with me, and you couldn't ask for any better. <laughs> because I love clothes, and Kristen is here to help me. Do you want to put it on? This is the Naomi, Naomi, Naomi collection. Naomi. Bye, Bye, Naomi. <laughs> Don't you dare leave with my clothes. This is the loudest dress that I think I have, and it cost me, I think, like $15. Just go ahead and pick what you want. I love this one. This, you know, this is like the hotel bed cover-up. This has nothing to do with bathroom. This is my Miami Beach. I said my, my, my Miami Beach underwear. So I have like a little G-string to match and a little bra to match. Yeah. Everything has to match because at the shows, you just have to have good underwear on. I'm going to also run in the bathroom and put my purple shoes on and my loudest dress that I have in my closet. Okay, here we are. I've got to check Kristen. Kristen, Kristen's wearing like a really simple classic. You'll see. When I dress like Naomi, I feel... Like a sex goddess. Where is my denim hat? I put this on top, and this cost me ten dollars. Hmm. Time for a change. Yes. Great. Okay. okay. This is my purple dress that I love a lot, and there's only one in the world again. It was made especially for me. <laughs> and these are the jeans that were made especially for ten million people around the world. Anasui, Anasui, Manolo. <laughs> This is my bed that I'm gonna sleep on and look what I'm doing to it, but anyway. How dare you stop now! I get a kick out of going to a flea market and with hundreds of people and finding that special little something and there's only one of it. Don't leave me a big old red lipstick on my mouth. Ay, 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 Mary and Joseph. <laughs> I'm out of here. I love you. Love you too, sleep tight. Sleep gorgeous. And I've got a 
got zits, so I'm gonna have to put my sports cream on and I don't care if the whole world sees this, but everyone has zits, I'm only human. I still got black under my eyes, so like a goddamn drug addict. And now for my zip cream. I just hope that when I get mad, my husband won't mind to see me with spots. Why? Spots all over my face. I'm going to bed now, and good night. Thanks, Naomi, and believe me, the right man will love you, zip cream and all. In the fashion industry, Milan is known as the industrial armpit of Italy. So we sent fashion photographer Mario Testino out on a rainy day to find and capture some of its... I think Dorothy had it right. There's no place like home. Still to come, American designer Steven Sprouts is back with a new collection. And we've got some fashion tips for the future first family. Good luck, Steven. It used to be you couldn't be too rich or too thin, but nowadays you can't be too rich or have too thin of eyebrows. The no eyebrow look is popping up all over the pages of fashion magazines, but may or may not be for you. We asked several top makeup artists how to do it and why. The eyebrows are the single most important part of the face that you can do something about without a plastic surgeon. You can manipulate them, you can pluck them, you can dye them. For you girls out there, you're gonna be tweezing for the first time. What you wanna do is get a picture of like your favorite model, stick it on the wall, and go very slowly and try to create the same shape as the girl in the picture. I have a great tip for you. If you're having trouble doing your own eyebrows, get a white nail pencil and you literally draw where you need to pluck. You draw the shape in and you just pluck along the line. And it really works every time I promise. Thicker at the beginning, thinner at the end. It's pretty much the classic shape. There should be a certain balance, you know, there shouldn't be like too much off on a certain point, you know, on a certain angle. If you want to get that nice arch, a really shaped brow, I like to use a little angle brush. Um, and it looks, it looks really natural and really great. Once you tweeze your brows, it's best to pluck, you know, once a day. You look in the mirror, you see a couple pull them out, then you never have to sit down and do a whole torture session. I use eyeshadows, a sable color if you have red hair or blonde hair, a sable -y color to a dark brown to a black. Naughty, naughty, very naughty. I kind of like that you have something that frames your face, eyebrows, but I must say that I like them um, plugs. What do you think of the no eyebrow look? Well, you're talking to someone who had giant eyebrows. It's a look. <laughs> no eyebrows. I think it's kind of like when you go blonde, you can't go back. And I think they don't grow back if you keep tweezing them for like, you know, 10 years, you know. But, you know, I mean, like fashion moves and goes on. I think it's important to change all the time. I mean, even thin gets boring too and it's limiting. So what do you think, honey? It's a fabulous darling. Mm. So, as you can see, you can have eyebrows like this or like this. It's your choice. Speaking of choices, what should the Clintons wear to their big inaugural bash on January 20th? Well, here's what some of our friends had to say. Oh my goodness, what should they wear? good in something sexy because we haven't really had any sexy first ladies. She's been quiet too long and now it's like her time to just open up and I can't wait. Something like very classy. A little Jean-Paul Gaultier suit on, on Bill would be kind of funky. Hillary, a see-through chiffon. Maybe some of those uh, matching ensembles. Well, Bill Clinton should definitely wear a condom. Something very unrepublican. Leather. Lots of leather. Versace. Animal prints. Now, I'm sure they're both going to be dressed beautifully. I'm sure that he would have on something that would be uh, 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 inspiration for the whole world. She would tell him, it's going to be a great day. What can I say? I'm sure whatever they wear, they'll look fabulous. That wraps it up for today's show. We'll see you next year. Have a great holiday and ciao.